We'll guide you through how to fix your iPhone not connecting to your PC or laptop. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So if you're finding your iPhone isn't appearing in your file explorer or maybe in iTunes, then let's go and fix this. I've managed to do this before. So all you need to do is come to the bottom of your computer, click on search and type in device manager. Now, all you need to do is scroll down. Yours, um, sort of these, these options won't be open for you. Mine are as I opened before. But what you need to do is find portable devices and expand it. And you should then go and find your iPhone. Now, all you need to do is right click on it and you want to click on uninstall device and press uninstall. It will go and take a moment and it will refresh and your iPhone will be removed from here. And what you can then do is unplug your iPhone and go and replug it back in. And that should hopefully go and fix the problem. Give it a moment to go and refresh. And as you can see, it should then shortly appear just like so. And then what you can do is open up your file explorer and go and see if it's then appearing and see if it's then appearing in iTunes. If it still isn't and it isn't appearing in iTunes, then what I found works well is to come onto your iPhone. Now unplug your iPhone from your computer. And what you need to do is go and open up your settings and then scroll down into general and scroll down to the bottom again and click on transfer or reset iPhone. Now go to the bottom and go and click on reset and you want to click on reset location privacy settings. Now what this does is, is that when you go and plug your iPhone into your computer or laptop or whatever, you go and get a pop-up saying, do you trust this? Sometimes for whatever reason, it's not popping up and that is why it's then not working on your computer and not connecting. So if you go and reset the location privacy setting, then what we can then do is go and click on it and then you'll need to go and enter in your passcode and you'll then need to go and confirm your decision. Then after you've done that, you can then plug your iPhone back into your computer and you should then go and get the trust pop-up, which you can accept.